Hello everyone, so I wanted to show you um, how I deal with texture-based meshes when converting stuff from The Sims 4. So what I mean by texture-based is sometimes um, when you go to delete The Sims 4 body, um, you'll see that this whole entire thing gets selected and the texture on top of here is painted on as well, so we, there's no way we can really delete that. So I'm going to show you how to get this uh, texture-based mesh onto the Sims body and replicate this look. So to start, I'm just going to go ahead and delete the parts of the body like I normally would. Like the legs here. And the arms. And to deal with this torso right here that gets selected whole if you press L, um, I'm going to just delete about right up until, oh, make sure you have um, limit selection divisible on that button right there. So it selects the vertices in the back, press B, and I'm just going to do it right about there, and delete, and press delete vertices. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to um, attach this skirt part onto the Sims 3 body and then put the texture on the actual body itself and then merge these vertices with the body. I'm just going to import the Sims 3 body next. I'm doing mine for adult female. And just make the skirt fit over the body like you normally would. Now I'm just gonna bake the body like I normally would. Um, I'm gonna go to new image, okay. <clears throat> and then since I'm making a dress, I'm gonna just merge the top and bottom together and bake that. And I'm saving that as a PNG. And now I'm going to go into Photoshop and show you how to map the texture in situations like this. <laughs> so I'm dragging in my bake and the Sims 4 texture. And in the case of this, um, we're going to break a few rules. <laughs> um, so, hold on, I'm just going to separate these. There, yeah, so we have to break a few rules in cases of meshes like this. So if you saw my um, 4 to 3 conversion tutorial, um, I mentioned that the two rules you have to follow is that anything that you're converting has to be in the proper color zone and it also can't touch any of the gray areas. Well in this case it's okay to put it over the gray areas because we kind of need to do that in order for the texture to show up on the body. So I'm just going to try to line this up so that um, there's, a, there's a continuation from the top part of the dress to the bottom 3D part. But yeah, so what I do in cases where there's like straps like these and I need to get like the the location perfect, I use a diffuse map from EA that has um, straps as well just so I know where to place them. So this is the one that I imported. I think I'll leave a link to, to this in the description below. Just so you have something to go off of so that the straps aren't mismatched on the Sims body.
I think with this mesh, I'm honestly just going to replace um, the straps here with these ones because I think they look pretty similar and honestly it's pretty hard to get proper strap placement, especially with the width of Sims 4 textures. So I'm just going, going to do that. Now I'm just going to export this and we're going to see how it looks in Blender. So to see how it looks on the sim, we're going to change uh, the materials on both the body and the skirt itself. So. I'm just going to import the image and to see what it's going to look like, the what the top part is going to look like on the body, you select the top, you go to here, press new, um, go to this uh, square tab here, press new with not as well, and change the image to the Sims 3 texture you just imported. There. See, so you, because I replaced the straps, they are perfectly lined up. Um, I don't think that looks too bad. I think I might have to go back and change this. So I will be back. Yeah, so I went back and fixed that seam there. And I also just made this better looking. Because <laughs> it was kind of too far away. Um, yeah, so now you, we UV map the skirt as usual. So you go here. Y2 and just place it where it should go. Oh, and also don't forget to change the texture on it to the same texture as the one up there. So you can actually see what you're doing. And you can use the seams here as a reference um, and match it up with the seams on the body there. So when you finish UV mapping, you'll notice that it's starting to come together. Um, don't worry if over here, if, if things aren't lined up because we're gonna be, be messing with the UV map later. Um, so you see over here that, I mean, there's this huge gap in the waist. So we'll have to connect the vertices here onto the vertices of the body. So first we have to make the UV maps the same name. And that's just so when we merge them together, um, just so that it doesn't lose its textures and the normals aren't flipped. So I'm just going to go to Mesh 1 and copy the name of the UV map there. So you select it, go to this triangle thing, and you double click it and press Control c And go to the your body mesh and paste it where that UV map is they have the same name now and before you go ahead and merge them I'm just gonna delete the body under the skirt so you turn this on and delete anything that's visible so you can see there that there's a gap there so I'm just gonna bring it up and connect it to there so that it flows I'm just gonna merge them Go. 
So to merge the vertices together, I like to start with this side. Um, that is because you can see here that, well, let me turn on, make sure you turn on sync selection. Um, yeah, you can see here that the body wraps around at that point. You can see that's where that ends and that's where that part ends. So I just like to start there so I can get my seams aligned. Turn off proportional editing too. So go down here and press disable if you have it on. And you're just gonna drag, oh, sorry. You're just gonna select these vertices here. Sometimes at seams they'll have, there's two vertices together. So you shift and click and shift click that one as well. And you press Alt M. And depending on which one you clicked first, you might have to select any one of these. I'm just gonna try at first. Yeah, so make sure you're not bringing any of the, any of the vertices of the body down. You wanna bring this up. So I'm gonna do at last. There you go. And you just do that all the way around. And in some cases, like over here, um, you won't have enough vertices on the body to match to the next to the neighboring one. So, and if you don't add a vertice here, you'll get gaps. Like you can see there, there's a gap in the body there. So, in order to add a vertice, you just go to face selection mode right there. Um, right click the face, go to tools, and press subdivide, and that'll split the face into a bunch of other faces and it'll give you a vertice for that to grab onto. And in cases like this, where you have an extra vertice, but there's nothing that matches on the top part, um, you can just press delete and dissolve vertices, and that'll get rid of that for you, make it match up with the edge. There you go. So you can see it's already starting to look pretty good. Um, now though, we have to make sure the UVs over here are seamless so that the texture doesn't have that line through it. So just select your mesh. Uh, make sure you're on sync selection mode right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna weld these vertices together so that there's no line there. And you can select, like, once you merge them here, if you select one, both of the ones that are, that are connected together will be highlighted. Um, the only rule is don't merge these outside ones because, as I said before, that's where it wraps around there. And if you do that, it's just going to cause a whole bunch of problems. <laughs> so I'm just going to start welding them. So go to the second one from the outside and press W and then W. And that'll merge it into one. There, and you can see that looks pretty good. I mean, you can barely notice that we started with just a, a skirt and a top. <laughs> um, yeah, now would be the point where if you have any seams that are crooked like that, you would just go on the mesh um, and just fix them like that. Or you can just edit it on the UV map here. 
I forgot to mention, um, with these outside vertices there, instead of welding them, you can just bring them really close to each other. And that'll give almost the same effect. There, so that little distortion there is gone. So now I'm going to export it um, as an OBJ like usual, and there's something really important that I will show you in Milkshake. So I'm just going to export or uh, import my mesh into Milkshake now. So two important things to know. Um, when you go to the Groups tab, make sure that Auto Smooth is off, and also align your normals. <laughs> what I mean by this is if you select your mesh, and go to vertex and align normals you'll see that the shadows will appear where they're supposed to be and this is because um, I find that when you merge um, the body with with the clothing piece in blender it causes the sim to have really bad seams that we fix um, so aligning the normals will fix that and I don't think the align normals comes like with with milk shape originally so um, you'd have to download the what's it called not extension um the plugin <laughs> you'd have to download the plugin in order to get align normals and i will leave that in this, the description as well um yeah so now you can carry on export it make all your lod's and import it into tsrw um i hope this helped <laughs> i was really confused on this for like a long time until i finally started to make my own meshes and that's when i learned about how to merge vertices so thanks for watching